There are many functions available at the ticket level. In the top portion of the ticket, you will see a red cancel and green send button, as well as the order number. Cancel will not save any changes made to the check and return you to the previous screen. Send will save the ticket to the POS and send any items that are set to print at order printers if they have not already been sent. Underneath this, you will see the assigned order type, ticket name, and if a customer is assigned. You can tap on any of these fields to change them. In the main area of the ticket, you will see at least one seat position, labeled S1, and a table position for shared items. You can also add or remove seats by using the plus and minus buttons next to guest at the bottom of the ticket. Items will be added to the position that is highlighted in blue. If your business is concerned with reporting accurate headcount or sorting by guest in the kitchen, it is important to assign items to the proper positions. This also makes it easier to split a check by item if a party asks you to do this. At the bottom of the ticket window, there are additional buttons to do the following. Apply a discount to the entire check. Manage, which allows you to split or combine checks. Add or remove taxes. Add or remove gratuities. And print the guest check. Once a ticket has been saved, you can tap on it to preview it on the left. The options below are Open the ticket Manage, which allows you to split or combine tickets Take payment Transfer the ticket to another user Void Assign the ticket to a different table And print the guest check